evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to bout number five of the evening. This fight is brought to you by Sub Zero Recovery. Three by two rounds for Tyrells. This is a 59 kilogram super fight. Your referee in charge when that bell tolls, Mr. Darius Jouch. It's shooting first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Darren Reese, Chris White, out of the Riddler's gym, with an official at 58.7 kilograms, wearing the red, white, and black with gold Muay Thai shorts. Four fights, three wins, fighting out of Osborne Park, ladies and gentlemen, Luke Reed! And across the ring, he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Darren Reeves, out of Evolution MMA. With a deficient weight of 59 for the rounds even, wearing the white tight shorts with gold, black, and red. Undefeated! Five fights, five wins, and fighting out of Wangara, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Lockett! Both fighters, the white group, Grandma. We're back, and they've sealed the ring. Luke Reed in the blue corner, taking on Richard Lockhart, who is 5-0 in the red corner out of Evolution MMA. Big shout-out to Darren Reed in the corner there. Well, this will be a, a little bit confusing because you've got Darren Reese of Riddler's Gym in one of the corners, and you have Darren Reeves of Evolution MMA in the other corner. So, hey, we can't get it wrong. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll, we'll just refer to Darren in the corner. We're still in the ring. Thought of this one again should be another great fight. Three two-minute rounds. Should be a good fight this one. I'm very interested to see. Uh, I haven't seen Richard Lockhart fight yet, but I'm very interested to see what kind of uh, Muay Thai style he has because he, he's fought boxing and he's fought MMA. And sometimes when you cross train in those disciplines, your fight stance is a little bit different. Your uh, your use of angles, uh, your weight shifting can be a little bit different as compared to a uh, just a traditional Thai gym. So it's very interesting to see uh, see how his style rates to. Uh, to a, a pure Thai gym such as uh, Rivers Gym. I've seen his MMA experience, uh, so he's pretty handy there, but he can't take him down to this one. So, But his wrestling might be good. So, mm. Darius Stouch, our referee, calling him for last second instructions. Actually, further, further to that point of, of if you've cross-trained a number of different disciplines, a lot of the time that makes you that little bit more effective and unpredictable um, when, uh, when you're in the ring against someone who's just one style. Congratulations to Pomorne Marts D putting on another great card for Origins 8. Dawson versus JWP 3. Daniel The Rock Dawson taking on the gunslinger John Wayne Parr in their trilogy fight tonight. I cannot wait. We're off to a good start of Origin 8. We've seen some great fights so far, including a couple great charity boxing matches trying to steal the show. But uh, again, the Muay Thai has yeah, lived up to all expectations so far. We've had injuries where shoulders have been popped out and put back in and uh, almost taken the decision. But here we go, round one. It's Richard Lockhart taking on Luke Reed. Reed in the blue, gloves and Lockhart in the red, and fast start so far by uh, Luke Reed. A couple of strong kicks to start by both boys around the thigh. What's with these guys always wearing uh, very similar trunks as yeah. well? Each boy is not black. This yeah. time they're bloody very much matching again. Obviously, no wardrobe consultation beforehand. Just while we're calling out the gloves, it's easy. <laughs> Richard Lockhart, a very, very Bobby style. We we're talking about that, that differences in style as a result of cross training in different disciplines. I thought Lockhart was going to try for the takedown to see. <laughs> Get the underhooks. See if Lockhart wins by an armbar tonight. Yeah. Waiting for uh, Darius to separate them, but he's uh, letting him go at it with uh, elbows being thrown there from, uh, from Luke Reed. Knees now by Reed as uh, Lockhart fights back with a knee on his own, and finally uh, Darius Stouse separates him. Not what could have happened a little bit earlier, but letting him go at it. Nice kick there by Reed. Good check and return there from Lockhart. Oh, almost a bit low on that yeah. first knee. He's fought through it. The cup is doing a good job then. Both boys, boys working pretty hard there in the grapple. I think Luke Reed's uh, having a bit of more success in his own corner now. He's having more success with the knee than Lockhart at the moment as he takes him down. Gets him straight back up. And one of those they always is land is a thick red mouse is starting to form on the, le on the left eye of Richard Lockhart. Oh, yes. 
and he fights back with some knees on his own. It's time for his time for action. Yeah, well paced first round. There wasn't really any kind of feeling out period. They've just gone straight at it from the word go. Schedule three, two minute rounds. We're going to bring round number one as uh, we hear the 10 second warning. Wants to finish up this round strong, but it was a strong first round for Reed for mine. Well, that was up round the score. Up round the score. Very good, very uh, very close first round. Anya, our blonde ring girl, uh, holding up the round two ring card, and I'm starting to think there is no stool for the red corner, because it happened again. It's an exhibition tonight. No stool in the red corner. As they take a uh, take the feet, and uh, in the blue corner they take the stool. It's been happening all night. I think you're onto something. We've not seen a red chair at all. A couple of very experienced corners there. You've got Darren Reeser, former amateur world champion and intercontinental professional champion, uh, national champion. Chris White also with a number of titles to his name there in the in the Riddler's corner. And over in the far corner, you've got Eugene Eckleboom there. I thought you were going to former say world Darren champion. Reeves in the red and Darren Reeves in the blue. <laughs> Darren, Reeves a, right. Darren Reeves, a very good former fighter in his own right as well. Good trainer. Uh, Lockhart goes on the attack early, having a few six, good, six, good knees early on in their second round. Trying to slip an elbow in there too, didn't quite get the, get the sharp connection to it. It's Brett Benetti at ringside, joined by Brett Dunn. We're having a great night here at Origin Day at the uh, Herb Brain Recreation Centre in Mirapuka, Perth, Western Australia. And uh, so far, Origin Hate, Origin Date has not let us down. They've been very good, even matches so far, and this one's no different at the moment. This one, very much a to and fro affair. No real clear when I, I still think Luke Reed is, is just in the lead at this point, but, um, but there's been a lot of grappling in this, and when there's a lot of. Oh, well done, referee Darius Doubts there. Not, what guy wouldn't be happy with that? No. <laughs> Lockhart's having a bit more success in this second round. A couple of good knees thrown there as he yes. throws another one. So, uh, very even fight so far. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good knee there from Reid. Oh, a good takedown as well. And that, to an end of another exciting round. Tough that, one to score. And that's one take round down. Oi! Well, that's a number of takedowns in this round. You're a number one in the other one. Yeah. Uh, so they would have been well timed to, to potentially give him that round. Could have stolen it. There's a bit of a cut on the nose, bridge of the nose of uh, Lockhart as well. And, uh, he takes the feet as we uh, say hello to Melissa, our ring car girl, dressed the same as Anya, even the same shoes. I have a pair of those shoes. Pops. <laughs> Don't have those pants though, thankfully. One of those fights, you know, we're seeing it one way, but the goes the other, there's no controversy, it's a close fight. No, definitely. Look, I think, I think again at the moment, those takedowns really seem to be the difference between the boys. There's not a, not a great deal, especially in that last round of, um, of stand and striking. It's, it's they come in with one or two strikes, then they're in grapple territory, and, and then they're fairly even in grapple territory outside of those takedowns. I agree. I agree with the first take. I think the second down was more of an off balance thing, but you're, again, the judges, as you know, might see anything different. Thank you, John Dimicoli, announcing the third and final round as Luke Reed goes on the attack early in round number three. Wants to put a stamp on this performance so far in an even fight. Knees thrown by both fighters to make the game control. And both boys have plenty in the tank at this point as well, so this is going to be a very fast paced last round. And how do you split this? Both fighters landing uh, good body knees, knees to the body. 
They're very hard in, in, in these exchanges. Again, that's why those takedowns really, really uh, come to the forefront in the decision. Those are nice top might, might be taking the toll on uh, on Reed as well. The red mark, is, yeah, forming on the on the side, but there's a red mark on the Lockhart as well. <laughs> so both both guys going full on at it. Might have been an accidental groin strike in there too. Yep. Take yeah, the opportunity to have a bit of a rest. Yeah, I saw them. Both. <laughs> Hoping everyone can hear it. Yeah, we're, we're working very hard here, Brett. Oh, really big, but, uh, off balance there. Another knee thrown by uh, Lockhart. Lockhart. Another fighter trying to keep his undefeated record intact. Mm. Yeah, a lot of good knees being delivered there. Very nice, sharp, pointed knees. Yeah, oh, oh, he's going for the top. Almost, almost WWE style there over the top right. AJ style. It in the Royal Rumble for a second. <laughs> so this has been the story of the third round so far. Both fighters trying to get the better of each other by throwing those vicious knees. Yeah, the, the elbows haven't been connecting to the grapple either. It's been just all knees. Nice push kick there, but uh, very hard round to score. So again, it's one of those fights you don't want to be a judge. No. Nice body kick shot there thrown by uh, Reed Lace as he finishes up in the uh, red corner. I feel that. Good luck being a judge in that one. I feel that Lockhart definitely got that third round. I agree. Very close. I, I, I couldn't complain if they saw it the other way, but I, I sense like a split decision coming. I think you might be right. I, I think it's going to be a very hard one to be able to split up. And again, when these, when it's 70% grapple, all of the fight, it's very hard to have a clear decider. Some judges in WA like giving the 10-10. I don't like that, but no. generally they like giving the 10-9 the other way. But if I'm going to go any way, I think Reed by two rounds to one. I, I think it those good decision. I think so. I, again, I, I think the uh, I think those takedowns will definitely be the difference, whether they were full takedowns or whether they were somewhat gravity assisted. Um, you know, I, I still think they're going to be. Uh, that might be uh, like a talking point because there was a very even second round, and, and they might see those uh, as stop. They might think that Reed stole the, end, stole the round in the second. Yeah. Round. It might be the deciding factor in the last minute of round two. Yeah, but I certainly think Lockhart in that third round had the stronger knees. He got the, the knees were, were slapping on the side far less. They were right in the middle, right up, nice and high, nice and tight. So another one of our sponsors uh, getting lucky enough to take uh, a photo with uh, Anya and Melissa inside the ring. It's Darius Stouch calls it. Let's make, let's make this one official. We'll send it up to John Demacoli to read out the decision. And I'm dead I'm predicting split decision. Corner, Luke Reed called the right winner, but it was a unanimous decision, which is probably the right call. Two rounds to one. Two point. rounds to one. I, I think that's definitely a fair call this time. Um, they could have given it again. Two rounds very close. But the same two rounds to one. It might have been three zip on uh, one or two of the judges' scorecards. We don't know because uh, it's not been read out. But uh, we. That's the way we, we've got to work with, and uh, we'll make the most of it. Absolutely. And the important thing is, uh, like you were saying before, it that means the, the judges are making clear decisions, which is which is important. I'm the same. I'm not a fan of seeing a 10-10 on a scorecard. And when you do your judging courses, they, they really encourage very hard, especially for three-round fights, that if you're uh, if you're doing 10-10s on the scorecard, it makes it very difficult to, to have an eventual winner. And the idea is you are to pick a winner. We're not here to have draws. We're here to have wins.